Hello everybody, YouTubers, friends, subscribers, I'm Ian, this is my shed, you're welcome. My friends on the internet, Robert Nerden, Guido Wandelt, have both had a go at making an electromagnetic vice thingy uh, by Make It Extreme, he did one, he's worked. My friends had a little bit of a struggle, so I thought, well, oh, why not, I'll have a go. Now, there's thousands of videos out there on YouTube, but I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of them, not one. When I went to school, and that's a long time ago, they taught you science, and you had to learn it or else you got a board duster thrown at your head, and I ain't forgot. So, magnetism, well it's pretty easy isn't it, you take a piece of steel, you wrap some wire around it, not hard, you take a power source, in this case a 9 volt battery, Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Works. And you uh, you attach you attach the power to them and come a piece of round there, wrap some wire around it, got my power source, got a tiny tiny piece of steel because that it's not going to be very powerful stick it on a piece of wood because it never pick it up in memory and mon would it never pick it up off uh, this steel tabletop let's do that all that to that i'm going to hold that to that and then i'm going to pick that up relatively easy yeah, you want it to pick up something heavier, you've got to put more power in it. Thinner wire, thicker wire, more turns. There's a bit of a black magic art to it. But more force, pick up force, more power. A 12 volt power supply. I could use that. I could use a battery. I'll get a bigger battery off the car. I could even use my stick set. That's DC. Puts out plenty of woof. They will pick up the Titanic with that. But we need to discuss something. We need to go back to school. We need to we need to know about things. There's a microwave oven transformer. You know what you do, you've seen these. You, you, you cut the thing off, you take the top off, you take the secondary coil off, leaving the primary coil, which will magnetize the block. Let me show you something that I stripped earlier. You got it. It'll magnetize. It will produce its magnetic flux, which, well, look it up. But they go like, nah, like that, round and round and in and out and round and round. But the problem with a microwave oven transformer is these two wings. They they'll still soak up the magnetic flux so you get less attractive force because it's I don't know it, it's soaking in it's saturating these wings I'm going to call it it was 40 years ago 40 years ago since I went to school a lot longer since Tesla invented the stuff but it's still as applicable now. So, 
we go back to the rod solid rod and it, it soon saturates I think it's I think they're called Tesla I think they measured in Teslas to be honest so I go bigger I could use a big solid lump of steel but because it's solid it, it saturates easier that's the word that's the word which is why they laminate the cores the iron cores they laminate it because it's laminated the flux doesn't saturate as much and goes round and I, I pulls it down more I'm going to draw a diagram. So oh yeah, big transformers, even bigger transformers. Well, I've decided to do it my own way. I've decided to take some strips of flat back, weld it up together. Put them on a plate. A couple of holes in the bottom, then I can uh, rivet it to a wooden base. I've already wrapped the way around. I'll get to a calculation in a minute. So. So my idea is to take a base, a wooden base. Now these are not the finished ones. The, the, I've got some calculations to make as to how many turns sit. Well, I know the thickness of the wire. You know, I'm using the wire I've stripped, but there is some calculations I need to make. Uh, I'm going to practice on a double one. I said I had some calculations. Right. So magnetism lesson 101. Well you know like you've got your north and you've got your south. And you know and you've seen it, magnetism goes like this, in it. Like a Terry's chocolate orange. It does all that. Well like I said, you've got an an iron core right it, it sort of constrains your magnetic flux giving a greater downward pressure an attraction force when you've got these where did it go when you got these so you've got your magnetic force it goes into these wings as well so you get less magnetic force right i've explained all that as best as i can look it up on youtube plenty of them to look at right there's a calculation we know that the downward pressure the attraction the attraction force well we're going to measure that in Gauss. I think that's right. 
for we have ghosts. Now we know to work out how much downwards attractive force is. Is it? I've got, I've got, here we are. I've got my wire and that's a di it's, that has a diameter, a resistance, ohms, uh, amps, I. So we're going to say we need to work out the ghost, which is the the up force, up force. So the up force is that. I need to know the amps, which we know is I. I need to know the diameter. And I need to know the resistance. So, with that formula, I can work out how many turns I need on this. Bob's your uncle. So, I'm going to stick some numbers to that. And I'm going to work out how much of this wire that I need. To wrap round them and then I can make my frame, stick them in the middle, rivet it to the wooden base, stick my top off, switch on, and well the magnetic vice. Right, I'll look down here. I've kind of changed my plan from the Angolian design pretty much good access to channel. I feel that by the time I've put all the coils in and if you've ever taken apart a transformer, a, one, a 240 to 110 transformer, you'll find that they're actually full of sand as a insulator heat dissipator. So I've actually got here a bag of a bag of play sand with which I'll be filling this to, to assist in the heat dissipation and insulation. That's going to make it quite chunky. My original plan is to have that on the inside and then I could put the, the base in it like that. But my thoughts are now have it on the outside and it will make some good handles to lift it up because it's going to end up being quite a chunky bugger so same on that side same on that side all these are going to be the same height there's going to be quite a number of those in there and top it off with a plate that fits just in nicely in there. Get it all welded up. So I've got to actually build it upside down. Then fill it full of sand. So I do it this way. Then fill it full of sand. Then weld the plate on top. I'll run all the wires. Just take this for example. I'll run all the one side that to the other side I'll have pretty chunky cable because you need quite a lot of oomph to get the magnetic thing that we need of course red and black so that's the plan I'm gonna cut make more of those get them all in the top on everything oh, bam done proof of concept see you in a minute okay well time's time's pressing on so uh i'll quickly throw this together i've only i've only tacked it into places the power supply i am going to use the stick welder i've got a negative the positive there that's just linked into there just got that on a piece of wood at the moment which i will just clip onto that uh I might figure a way so it 
I don't want it touching this. Well, we'll get her into that. So there we are. Let's uh, sit on the tripod. Let's give it a test. Okay, doke. Okay, doke. Here we go. Piece of angle line. I don't know why, but I have cleaned up the bottom of it. That just spins around there. Right. Uh, get that off. Any power, but, uh, all right. We're a bit Heath Robinson, I know, but okay, oak. And it's power on time, a little bit noisy. Well, it's not as good as what I would have thought. Oh, well, it seems uh, I've got a that sort of orientation. That is working. Not so much on the, call it north south axis, but it's certainly the spin round onto the east west axis. I can't do it. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Right, I tell you what, turn that off and uh, that's it guys, I'll turn the camera off. Well, so, yeah, I don't know, the prototype is uh, as a working model, I think it, uh, I think it did all right. Like I said, got to figure out that north, south, east, west, east axis. Probably need to just take the top off and rearrange some of the the coils inside. It's only thrown together. It's not perfect. Not shows electricity. Bit of wire, bit of steel, laminated steel. Make yourself an electromagnetic vice. Alright, catch you lot in the next vid. That's it. Let's uh, tidy things up a little bit. Out of the way. And then, uh, I say, I don't really need to worry too much about this, do I? Get out of it's all bloody fake. Uh, out the way of it. <sighs> Fuck it out. Tell you what, pretty good these, aren't they? So, wonder if that fooled them. Wonder if that fooled anybody. Feel that it should fool that Guido. He's no idea, has he? Start it up. Cover up. Where's the cover gone? 